Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Jacob. Just a message to say shalom. And a quick question for everyone. Do you see and watch people on YouTube on their channel because they've got 40,000 um, um, people subscribed to the channel or 50,000 or a million people watching the channel? Or is it best just to read your Bible, pray and ask for guidance? And if you're using um, technology such as YouTube, even you follow me or just hearing me, um, you've got to make sure and discern what things are good and what things are bad. Do you know why? Because your whole life, your whole soul depends on this. And why I say this and why I bring up these videos every every now and again is because I want everyone here not to follow man and man's ways. I want everyone here to follow our Elohim, what we call Yeshua's ways. It's Him that you've got to serve. How do you do this? Simple. Read your Bible. Go home, reread your Bible. Read everything in the Bible. Prove everything. Hold fast the things that are good. Because the only reason why I'm saying this is there's a lot of people, and I know them, claim that they're prophets now. And they've got a vision. God has shown me a vision. That's what they claim. Well, I had a dream. And in this dream, God showed me. Before you hang up, or you look at this and you think, oh, here we go. I say this with much shalom, even to them. Read Jeremiah 23, verses, you can go anywhere. This is on the top of my head because I'm driving in the car. Uh, Jeremiah 23, verses 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and read the whole chapter after that. And I'm just giving it roughly in that area there. You'll find that in there, they claim to be prophets. They claim to use... God's name. God showed me. God did not show them. They say it. They say with their voice, God showed me. But God didn't show them. And then they 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 steal off one another. So all these so-called prophets. So he said, he said, so he goes, okay, I'm gonna use that and that and that. And then they say, God showed me, and they keep doing this. This is blasphemy. This is terrible. This is a bad thing to do. And why I say this is because it's on my heart to point you all towards Yeshua and His ways, which are His commandments, His Torah, His teachings, everything. You've got to keep all these dietary requirements because one thing is God loves us so much. He wants you to live a righteous, long life. Not a short life, a long life. He wants you to be healthy always. Not partly. I want you to get old, enjoy your kids, your kids' kids, your grandkids. Because He loves you. And along the way, you teach your kids and your kids' kids, your grandkids, about Him. And then you're ready to die and be with Him. Very simple. Much along to everyone. I say this out of love and kindness. But... It's better to open up your Bible and read it. And get helpful hints from everyone that point you to Yeshua and His ways. Another quick question. How do you know someone loves you? I think I've said this in one of my other videos, but I'm going to say it again. How do you know someone loves you? Wait. <laughs> do you know how? It's not like um, a lot of you might say, um, well, they show you, they, you know, they show their kindness, their love for you. They might, you know, if you're a husband, you might come home with some flowers someday. You go, oh, yeah, I bought you some flowers. Or a wife cooks a nice meal, you know. And, or you show gratitude by your respect, the way you talk, how you present yourself, and everything, your manners, the way you talk, and all that. If I was to say that was wrong, be disappointed in me. I only say this because I agree with all that as well. But on top, do you know how I know someone loves me? Is when they tell me about Yeshua. When they tell me about Him. Now on one hand, I can count, including my mother, father, brothers, and all my family members. Wife, including everyone. 
probably on one hand I can count how many people have told me that, you know, listen, you know, Yeshua loves you. Uh, he died for you on the cross. And, you know, I just want to let you know that he's there. Go, and, go home, go on your knees, pray for him. Hardly no one does that. Not even our own family. So then question their love that they have for you. Because if they had love, which love represents Yeshua, then they would have told you something a bit earlier in your in your life to make your life a little bit easier. But here I am, I'm telling you the truth, that I'm telling you that Yeshua does love you and he wants you to follow him. How? Read your Bible. Don't get fooled by these false prophets that go in and say, I had a dream. I had a dream. And in this dream... Now, I had a vision and God told me, go home, reread your Bible, improve all things. Shalom, shalom, and go make disciples of men.